Hey rookies, what's up? Welcome to this edition of the Bourbon Rookie. Uh, year's almost over. We're a couple days before New Year's Eve and New Year's. Um, and uh, where did the year go, right? Every year we say that. Um, it seems like um, yesterday I retired. And um, in reality, it's been a year. And it's been about a year since I've uh, started my first video. And a few months after getting into video and learning how to edit because I was just kind of bored and needed a little bit of a hobby. So that's what this kind of turned into. And uh, a few months later, after, when I retired, I treated myself, spent a little bit too much money on, uh, don't, the wife's not here. I spent well over m my comfort zone um, and just based on reputation um, and Buffalo Trace line and all that good stuff. Elmer T. Lee. Uh, I saw this in a, a store on the island, and it's uh, these aren't too hard to come by. I mean, excuse me, these aren't easy to come by. And of course, is if you're watching my channel, you're kind of inexperienced, or inexper if you're inexperienced, this is allocated, meaning that uh, they don't make a lot of this, and uh, they jack the price up like they do with Blanton's, which is the same company as Elmer T. Lee, Buffalo Trace, all that good stuff, and. Um, I paid 350 if I didn't say that, and well above my my comfort zone again. Um, surprisingly, I didn't really look too much at this uh, Elmer Tilly. It's 45% alcohol by volume, 90 proof, uh, single barrel, and um, you know, didn't really look up the mash bill or anything like that. But you know, you can always do that. I'm sure it's one of the Buffalo Trace mash bills. I think it's a one or a two. Um, if you're a novice like me, a rookie like me, who cares? <laughs> you know, um, this is one of those things, like I said, well out of my comfort zone. Why? Because, you know, the average person doesn't have a lot of money to spend. So part of the fun of getting into spirits is to try, well, you know, you want to get away from like what you started out with when you were a kid. You know, when you were a kid, you drank Cuero, crap, tr crap tequila by today's standards, right? When you have all these other fancy tequilas out there and you know maker's mark nothing to sneeze at when it comes to bourbon um but uh branched away from that started getting back into that recently not that it's crap but you know you, maybe i should rephrase it and say some of the well-known brands that are on the shelves every day um and that's what you would gravitate towards too even if it's a cigar like macanudo or you know whatever name brand that you know like an American Cohiba or Dominic, Dominican Cohiba. It's not really a Cuban cigar, but people know the name, right? Because it's from Cuba and, it's, and they associate it with a Cuban cigar. So this is kind of what I'm getting at. So now, you know, my channel is just basically, you know, much like a lot of other channels out there, like SLB. That's one of, SLB Drinks is one of my favorite um, YouTube channels to watch. Uh, you know, your, your drinking buddy or drinking buddy. That kid's pretty good. Um, wow. This smells like buttercream. Holy mackerel. I just opened this, as you can see. And the nose on this is just insane. It's just like, you ever have a buttercream dessert? Like something with buttercream in it? Like a buttercream pastry? It's not creme brulee, but it's it's like a buttery cream. It's a buttercream. No, way, no, no other way to say it. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Like a conf like confectionery sugar. Just it, it the caram is the caramel profile. It just smells like a creamy, just butter. So I'm not getting any ethanol on the nose. But uh, yeah. So this is one of those bottles that I'll just uh, getting to my point. This is one of those bottles that I'll just keep. Um, because I don't, you know, when you don't make, when you don't have a lot of money and you do decide that you're going to splurge on something else, you have, you have to have a, you know, you have a limit obviously. And this is going to be that special occasion sipper. And if it's anything like the nose, it's going to be fantastic. Um, a little bit of a dankness to it now that I'm starting to, sorry about the watch. 
a little bit of a slight dankness. You know, one of my bad habits is I don't aerate enough with these fancy uh, Glen Cairns. You know, you see a lot of guys aerate. And I don't, sorry, the, I don't know if I went out, but I don't do enough of that to really open up the um, the aromas coming out of the um, the bourbon. Yeah, so now, just from swirling it around, I'm getting a little bit of a grape. A little bit of a grape added to that, that buttercream. And now I'm getting a slight, slight tingling to the sinuses with the, uh, the alcohol in the glass. You know the color? It's a nice amber color there. Uh, let's see, how are those oils? How are those oils? Are they running down the glass? Mm. I wouldn't say it's overly oily. In other words, the, the oil's running down the glass pretty, pretty, it's pretty thin. Cheers. Wow, so the The flavor does not match the nose whatsoever. All that sweetness that I'm getting, um, all that buttercream, you think you're going to get into like some kind of a, a dessert, almost like a an after-dinner aperitif type of a, a, a alcohol. And then when you taste it, it's flat, very flat. There's a dankness to it. You'll hear dankness in terms of... I'm starting to get it. I didn't really get what dank this map with other guys that um, uh, uh, taste or have experience with whiskey. I would watch their YouTube channels and they would say there's a dank note to it, like a wet basement note to it. I don't know if that has to do with the barrels, certain barrels that they use. I don't know what they use with these. I would, I would imagine just white oak, it's a single barrel. I couldn't even tell you how long it's ages to tell you on here. That's part of my thing. I don't really do a lot of research, kids. Um, hmm. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. But I would have to imagine it's got to be at least if age four years, right? Whatever. Somebody tell me. Um, so, what did I learn this year? Full year of doing videos. Um, a lot of boring videos where I, I wax on too long, so I'm going to try to keep this short. So I'm going to stand out. Uh, uh, um, what I learned is that I'm kind of boring. I, I talk too much. I should probably edit my videos down. Um, and I'll work on that. I would like to get a couple of guys to Granby get some banter together. I've been watching this channel. Uh, I love cigars, so I'm fascinated with, with uh, this uh, Edward and Eddie... Uh, Sahakian. Uh, they are, I guess, the owners of uh, Davidoff of London. And so they've been in business over 40 years and um, they're doing YouTube videos. And uh, very cool in terms of, um, you know, watching how they, you know, their videos can be long. But it's Eddie and his father, and, and there's another guy that sits with him. And I'm just captivated because they're in Cuba, and they're talking about cigars, and they're lighting the cigar. And before I know it, I'm 20 minutes in, and I go, how long is this video? So, you know, banter, and to have the right uh, 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 people to talk to, or have people to talk to in a video sometimes, just to be, to be a little bit more entertaining, it does help. So that we're going to work on. Uh, my production value, I'm going to try to work on that, but eh. And uh, it's YouTube, guys. I mean, I'm not looking to really monetize or anything like that. Um, and then on top of that, what was my standout whiskey of the year? My standout whiskey of the year was, and it's not in particular, the Russell's. Russell's Reserve. This is a private barrel selection that I got. Um, it was a store pick. But the single barrel 
the Russell's, uh, it looks like this. And I'll probably put a picture in. This store picks fabulous. Absolutely. And it actually smoked the, uh, the single barrel. But the single barrel is on the shelves. I'm starting, I'm starting to see it more readily in my stores. And, uh, my favorite whiskey of the year so far. I mean, I've, I've spent a considerable amount of money on a collection and you can check out some of my videos and just, you know, you know, watch a, a little bit of it, fast forward, watch a little fast forward because they are a little long. And, um, you know, I probably spent a little bit of money um, on this hobby. And, uh, but so that this, with all the whiskeys that I've tried, the Russell's Reserve really stood out just off the top of my head. So what about you guys? Whoever's into whiskey out there, what, what was your standout? How was your year? Sorry about the watch. Anyway, yeah, this isn't anything. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it. I spent a lot of money on this, and I'm not digging it. it the, the nose was fabulous, but there is uh, this is actually really lacking, and um, for all the hype, you know of some of the reviewers and the videos that I've seen about the Elmer T. Lee, this added a Buffalo Trace line. Uh, regular Buffalo Trace at 30, 30 bucks, $35. The regular Buffalo Trace is way better than this. It's more interesting. I would venture to say that the Buffalo proof, uh, the Buffalo Trace is, is also 90 proof, maybe a little higher or around that range. More interesting, more flavor. Hmm. Very disappointed. Not good. At any rate, I waited a whole year to find that out. <laughs> At the end of the year. Uh, actually, Blanton's is better than this. And, you know, a lot of guys that are into, uh, that have experience with whiskey, a lot of guys trash Blanton's because of the price point. Um, because it's... I think it's roughly the same. It's eighty. It's eighty-six to ninety proof. Better flavor, sweeter. This one is just. It's just flat. A little bit of oak. Not much. It's not really all that interesting. There's a little. There's a little bit of a bitterness to it. Um. I don't know. Like I said, opening up the nose is just absolutely fantastic. When you smell this, you think you're gonna get something. Mm. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do with this thing next year. A couple days away from New Year's. I hope you and your family had a great Christmas. You and your friends, whoever you you're with, and I hope you have a great New Year. And we'll see you on the other side, uh, where I am. I think I'm gonna give out. I'm going to do like a cigar thing and give you my top uh, my top cigar company of the year, or at least my top two, and my top cigar, my top couple cigars of the year. That'll be the next video on the other side of the new year while my phone keeps pinging, and hopefully this band-aid will be off my face with Kevin Jr. under that. Uh, at any rate, guys, I've waxed on for 13 and a half minutes. Stay safe, have a happy and blessed day. New Year holiday, and uh, see you on the other side. Stay frosty, guys.